के एस आई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव एस्पिरेंट सो आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव कम्प्लीटेड योर पी यू बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन एंड यू हैव डन वेल इन दोज एग्जाम्स एंड द नेक्स्ट माइल स्टोन दैट इज गोइंग टू कम इज योर के एस आई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑन सिक्सटीन एंड सेवनटीन ऑफ अप्रिल सो इफ यू काउंट फ्रॉम नाउ वी आर जस्ट लेफ्ट विथ ट्वेंटी फाइव डेज फॉर आर के एस एट एग्जामिनेशन एंड दिस एग्जाम इज द नेक्स्ट हाफ टू गेट इन टू द टॉप कॉलेजेस ऑफ कर्नाटका राइट सो फिफ्टी परसेंट वेटेज फ्रॉम योर वर्स फ्रॉम योर बोर्ड एग्जाम विच इज ऑलरेडी डन एंड द रेस्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट इज फ्रॉम योर केस एट एग्जामिनेशन विच वी हैव टू डू इट राइट सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी टेलिंग यूर डिटेल्स ट्वेंटी फाइव डेज स्ट्रैटेजी वेर आई एल बी गिविंग यू द स्टडी प्लान टाइम टेबल स्टडी रिसोर्सेस वॉट ऑल थिंग्स वी आर प्लानिंग फॉर यू एवरीथिंग इन डिटेल सो येस इफ यू आर एन एस्पिरेंट ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड वॉन्ट टू गेट टॉप थाउजेंड रैंक देन प्लीज वॉच दिस कंप्लीट वीडियो ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी टेल यू इन ब्रीफ वॉट ऑल थिंग्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सो द फर्स्ट वन इज योर ट्वेंटी फाइव डेज स्टडी प्लान second thing most important topics a study time table then i'll be also telling you the best resources next how diksha karnataka youtube channel can help you in your preparation and last but not the least what mistakes you need to avoid in this last 25 days okay so coming to the first one that is a 25 day strategy so here you can see from 19th of march to 28th of march i want all of you to focus on your pu2 syllabus now you already have given your pu2 exam so you are very thorough with the pu2 syllabus so you just need to revise things and what else you need to do also i'll be telling you now the second phase of the preparation starts starts from 29th of march to 4th april okay and here you are going to focus on pu1 syllabus okay because the pu1 syllabus has very less weightage so we do not have to give more time and waste our time in pu1 syllabus and the last phase which is very very important is from 5th of april to 15th of april where we will be focusing on revision and mock test okay so now moving to our phase 1 that is from 19th of march to 28th of march where we are going to focus on the pu2 syllabus right so as you all know in all the question paper in all the subjects 40 plus questions will be asked from your pu2 syllabus so definitely you have to focus on the pu2 syllabus more okay now how to complete this pu2 syllabus you have to select a high weightage topics so i'll be giving you the list of the high weightage topics then you have to revise the concepts so we will be providing one shot revision video so if you have already uh, make short notes or anything you can revise from there or you can just watch our one shot videos and prepare short notes from there or you can do self study and prepare short notes after that you have to do last 10 years of previous year questions this also we will be providing in our channel after that you have to write a small test of 20 to 30 questions and then you have to go for the next chapter so for all the chapters of pu2 you have to follow this cycle okay so make a checklist once you have completed one task please put a tick mark and do all the chapters like this for your pu2 syllabus okay now moving forward to 29th march of 4th april here you have to focus on the pu1 syllabus okay what are we going to do here so pu1 syllabus will also only give you 18 to 20 questions so definitely we have to be like put less focus here but how exactly we are going to complete this chapter first you have to select the high weightage chapter from the pu1 syllabus after that you have to revise the concepts one shot that will be providing in our channel after that just prepare the short notes and directly do the last 10 years of pyqs so after this you do not have to write any test for pu1 if you do the last 10 years of pyqs and the questions that we are providing you that will be enough now moving to the last phase that is from 5th of april to 15th of april we are going to write the test series okay so what all things you have to do first you have to write one full length test okay after that you have to maintain write in the exam condition means exactly you have to take 60 minutes without calculator you have to solve the question paper after that you have to analyze the test and note down the wrong questions in an error notebook so what is this error notebook i want all of you to buy a notebook whichever questions you get wrong please write down those questions and the answers okay when you do revision you have to do revision of those wrong questions questions only okay and next you have revised the weak area so once you have done you know what are questions got wrong which all are your weak areas you can revise those weak areas so for in this phase that is from 5th april to 15th april you have to maintain one error notebook next very important 
keep a track of your marks in the test series so how, whatever test you are writing what marks you are getting in physics chemistry maths make a uh, note down of the marks right and then attempt at least three to four full length test and i have a proper schedule for full length test as well so you can see up to uh, from uh, one two three four you can do some previous year papers we have in our channel completely solved 2022 2023 and 2024 papers you can do that and from fifth you can write the two tests physics and chemistry so on seventh you can write down maths and bio then on ninth again physics chemistry on 10th maths and bio 11th physics chemistry 12th maths and bio 13th physics and chemistry and 14th maths and bio so this is a small schedule for test series i have given you but you don't have to follow it exactly you can do according to your wish okay but at least you should write three to four full length paper okay next we have the most important topics this i have given you many times so you can just take a screenshot so this is from your pu2 syllabus physics so these are all high weightage topics where you can expect five to six questions these are your moderate weightage topics where you can expect three to four questions and these are your low weightage topics where you can expect one to two questions the same for chemistry here you can expect five to six questions and here you can expect three to four questions okay now moving forward in bio here also you can expect i can say like uh, three to four questions here you can expect two questions here you can expect one questions okay so please take a screenshot of this so you have to select the topics in this order now moving to biology uh, just a minute yes in biology you have these are the high weightage topics so please first focus on completing these high weightage topics after that you will move towards the medium weightage topics you can see the list of the topics here i'm not going to read out them please take a screenshot of this because otherwise the video will become long so just take a screenshot of this and then you have two chapters in the low weightage topics next moving forward to pu1 topic so you can see here uh, we have physics sorry this is your chemistry and maths pu1 syllabus so you can see already like there are all the chapters you can just expect one one question so you can just select those questions those chapters which are easy for you select five to ten chapters and finish them but especially system of particles and rotational motion has more weightage in physics similarly chemical bonding equilibrium redox reactions hydrocarbons these are the topics which are having little more weightage so if you are starting with pu1 just make sure that you do these most important topics similarly talking in mass you have relation function sequence and series and limits and derivatives are the most important topics so try to finish them first okay so we will be covering the entire pu1 and pu2 syllabus in our channel so you can follow that if you haven't subscribed the channel please subscribe it now coming to biology syllabus you can see high weightage topics we have these two from pu1 okay uh, next from pu uh, medium weightage topics are given here where you can expect like here you can expect one questions from these chapters and these are the low weightage topics where you can expect zero to one question means some year some questions are asked somewhere some years the questions are not asked from these chapters okay so these are the low priority chapters after that we have a study timetable as well so this is a you it's a completely customizable table uh, timetable but i am giving you a small idea you can start your day with 8 am from 8 am to 10 am 2 hours you can just revise mathematics do the most important chapters from mathematics then 11 am to 1 pm you can study chemistry then 3 pm to 5 pm physics you can alter the order according to your weakness and strength 6 30 to 8 pm you can either if you have bio you can go for bio or else you can do question practice and 9 30 to 11 30 you can do simply question practice okay so when you are doing this one so try to revise the concepts okay and prepare short notes okay so when you are studying you have to revise the concepts and do short notes and you can solve some uh, pyqs as well okay and here we will be giving you mcq series is starting top 30 question series we are giving you so you can do that in this particular time so here i will recommend you can do two subjects okay one hour for each and if you are having not having biology here you can do one subject so three subject or else at least two subject on alternative days you can do physics chemistry one day maths and bio on the next day okay next moving forward we have the study resources so at this point of time it is very very important to refer to good relevant and important resources than referring many non-relevant resources so i'll be telling you 
three important things. The first one to master your concept, the only book that you require is your NCRT books. Okay. So, just to revise the concept and in NCRT you can solve NCRT exemplar questions. Okay. And from books you do not have to solve any questions because it is MCQ type, but any important concept you want to understand you can revise here. Okay. Next for question practice of our previous year questions which book you can follow you can follow DISA publication you can see in all the four subjects it is available or this is another publication which I found that is IBA this also you can see previous year questions from 2006 to 2018 it is available but if you are buying it make sure that you are buying the latest edition ok. So, case set uh, DISA publication 2024 that uh, version is also available in the market you can purchase this one for PYQs if you do not have do not worry we will be making chapter wise PYQs video so that will definitely help you. Next coming to question practice so if you see my uh, cycle of completing a chapter I told you first to make uh, select a chapter then to revise or prepare short notes then do PYQs and the question practice. So, for question practice you can do NCRT exemplar and MTG book if you have taken you can take there are lots of questions in this MTG book you can just select any 20-30 questions and start solving them with a timer ok. So, that is how you can do proper question practice ok. So, these were the important resources and next very important is mock test. So, in mock test the first one that is available is your uh, we have from MTG. Karnataka CT uh, mock test which includes 10 mock test papers this is fine or else you have our Abhyas K set 2025 test series ok. I will be telling you the details about this one. So, this is a test series which is available at just 1498 it is 1499 if you are taking the PU2 success blueprint test series which is already expired now. So, for a 1498 you will get this Abhyas K set 2025 test series which has 35 test 4 are absolutely free and 31 at the paid test it includes both full length and part test ok. Apart from this detailed video solutions chapter wise one shot revision videos and last 5 years of uh, K set chapter wise insight also you will be getting ok. So, these are the things that you will be getting and this is the best test series that is available. So, if you want to booster your preparation because already 1000 plus students have taken admi uh, taken and registered for this test series. So, definitely they are ahead of you. So, yes if you are also want to get into top 1000 rank best preparation then you can take this and remember if you take the uh, test series and get rank below 1000 rank ok then you can win prize up to 1 lakh ok. So, this remember we have already discussed it many times. So, you can easily get below 1000 rank and target 1 lakh rupees ok. Fine next we have what is Diksha Karnataka YouTube channel doing for you as you all know this channel is completely dedicated for your case preparation and we have started from last year. So, yes what all things we are planning for you that is what I am going to tell you. So, we are going to relaunch our case master stroke series. So, if you are following our channel from a long period of time you know before your board exams we have already started this case master stroke series where we are giving you one shot revision videos of all the chapters for both PU1 and PU2 right. So, already we have completed for some chapters whichever chapters of PU2 are remaining and whichever chapters of PU1 the complete PU1 chapters will be done from here onwards ok. So, that is the first thing we are doing and next is your top 30 MCQ series ok. Here we will be including your PYQs ok plus extra questions ok. So, you will be getting top 30 MCQs per chapter and if you do these 30 questions then definitely your preparation for that chapter is very good. So, I told you in while completing a chapter that you have to do some question practice apart from PYQs. So, this top 30 questions can be your good source for that practice ok. Next we can see you can see the schedule here we are launching it from 19th of March right. So, on 19th of March you will get free ab in our Abhyas test series we have two test uh, sorry the first part test is absolutely free. So, we will be solving them in our YouTube channel and from uh, tw uh, 20th of March you will be having classes one shot revision videos will start and also MCQs will also be there. And if you want to know the detailed schedule it is here you can download it from our WhatsApp channel link of the WhatsApp channel is there in the description section. So, please go and download this and then you can 
uh, download the PDF and can do all the question practice. Okay. After this, what all mistakes you should be avoiding in this last 25 days? The first one is very, very important, wasting more time in PU1. Many of the students think that we have not completed PU1. Let me do PU1 first. So please do not do that mistake. You will be hardly getting 15 to 16 questions. So do not waste and ignore your 40 questions. First PU2, after it is completed, then only go for PU1. Second, not solving mock test. I know many of the students are very, very lazy to solve the mock test so i have given you a proper mock test plan giving uh, gaps in between and we are also giving you test series so please buy the test series so that you will have a consistency you will have a proper schedule which test when to write and you will not get distracted the third mistake ignoring pyq so we often think that PYQs are something which is not needed, but PYQs are the ones where exactly the questions are also repeated sometimes or the same concept questions are repeated. So please do not ignore PYQs. We will be solving in our channel. You also need to complete it at least for the PU2 all chapters. Okay. Next, passive revision. So just don't do passive revision where you are sitting and just seeing your short notes. Rather, do question practice while doing revision. When you are doing question practice, there are many questions which you will get wrong. So maintain an error notebook, write down those questions and while revising, revise those wrong questions. Next, we have not analyzing the test. I also was doing this mistake during my preparation. I used to write the test and then do not analyze it. So if you don't analyze it, your test marks will never improve. So always sit, if you have written two hours of test, then give two hours for analysis also, where you see exactly which questions got wrong, why did it go wrong, and write down that particular question in your error notebook and revise those concepts which you got wrong. Okay, and after that late night study on the last day, so please avoid this. You should at least take a proper seven to eight hours of sleep and a 10 hours of study timetable is given. Please follow that for the next 25 days to get into the top 1000 rank in KSET examination. Okay, so I hope uh, this video was helpful. Many of the students were asking for a proper plan. So you would have gotten guidance here. If you need any other uh, help or any other doubt is there, please put down in the comment section. The link for the Abhyas test series is also available. So please purchase it. That will definitely help you in your preparation. I can guarantee you that. So please take that as well. And any other doubts, please leave a comment. Okay. So thank you for watching and all the very best students. Please do not get distracted for the next 25 days. Be very, very focused, motivated and be ready to work 100% to put your 100% efforts for the next 25 days because I'm not going to leave you. I'm going to teach you every day, every all the teachers, all the faculties of Diksha Kandataka are there. So they are going to be with you till the exam date. So please work hard with us. Okay. All the very best students and see you soon with the next class.